Here is today's prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being strong when I am weak. I join the Apostle Paul in his powerful declaration. Therefore, I take pleasure in affirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 10. I lift up to you the spiritual battles that I am facing right now. I cry out to you with this prayer from King David. Be merciful to me, O God. Be merciful to me, for my soul trusts in you, and in the shadow of your wings I will make my refuge until these calamities have passed by. Psalms 57, 1. Please reveal your truth to me and help me to overcome the lies that I'm hearing and believing. Please increase my faith so that I can see clearly and know your love and purpose for me, even in these distressing times. I seek your strength and wisdom as I wrestle against the forces that try to pull me away from you, away from your truth, and away from your word. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, I will take up the whole armor of God that I may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Ephesians 6 verses 12 through 13. Lord, I desire to stand firm on the foundation of your word and your salvation. With you and me, I will not fear. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Jesus, the light of the glorious gospel, the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believeth not the unsaved. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 4. Jesus is the light of the glorious gospel. Did you see those two words? Light and glorious. He is both the light of the gospel and the glory of the gospel. In a world where people are blinded by sin and where people are lost in the darkness of eternal night, Jesus is the light of salvation. He is the light of the gospel. Lord Jesus, when I saw the light, I believed. When the light appeared in my life, I followed it. Give me more illumination today so that I know where to walk. Jesus is the glory of the gospel. When the Shekinah glory cloud rested on the Ark of the Covenant, the priest had to leave the Holy of Holies. Exodus 40, verse 35. 2 Chronicles 5, verse 14. Humans couldn't remain in the presence of the glory of God. Just as the Lord Jesus came to dwell among Israel, now he comes to live in the lives of his people. It is through his followers that he brings the light of the gospel to the world. It is not just a dazzling light that God wants unsaved people to see. He wants to bring the light of his presence into the hearts of unsaved people. So, they can believe the glorious gospel. Remember that Jesus said, I am the light of the world. John chapter 8, verse 12. Lord Jesus, thank you for living in my heart. Shine your light to the world through me. I want to shine you. The light of the glorious gospel to all people. Amen.